All right, so I do apologize for being like this in front of the camera. I am currently on the couch uh, editing the video, but I wanted to add this to this video. I want to give two quick shout outs. One, to my good friend Robert for letting me unbox this uh, and uh, film this for the channel. And the second shout out goes to VCG Construction. Uh, we wouldn't even have known of the sale that's going on at Lowe's if it wasn't for uh, watching their stream. So thank you guys for doing what you guys do. And yeah, the, these tools are actually really cool. So I hope you guys enjoy the unboxing. And just so you guys know, I have this to unbox still. So that's coming soon. So today we are gonna unbox this bad boy. Now this is the Cobalt kit that cost $200 at Lowe's. My friend Robert uh, bought this and he asked if I wanted to unbox this and review these in the channel and I said yes. So we are gonna unbox this and see what's inside. This is a six tool combo kit. All right, so this combo kit comes with a half inch drill driver, a quarter inch hex impact driver, a one handed reciprocating saw or hacksaw, a uh, circular saw, multi-job tool, and a uh, work light. Now, this comes with a 45-watt charger and two, uh, one 4-amp-hour battery and a 2-amp-hour battery. Now, of course, this, this is a 24-volt system. And so, yes, we are going to uh, unbox these, take a look at the specs, and see what's inside. So, let's actually get to that right now. Now, this thing is huge, so... Might as well keep the camera angle right there. Like I said, I did not purchase this. My friend did. And he is giving me the honors on uh, unboxing this for the channel. And there we go. Now, I will admit that this is actually pretty heavy for what it is. This does look like a heavy-duty storage for the tools itself. You got a pouch in the front. You got uh, four sleeves in the front as well. You got two sleeves on the side, nothing on the back, and uh, one pouch on the on the other side. You have a total of three handles and a roller handle, like you, you would use for a briefcase. Oh, so the first thing you get is you get instructions for each tool, warranty, and yeah, let's actually do that. All right, so the first thing you get is instructions and warranty. And of course, for each of the tools, you get a belt clip and you get a blade for the recip saw. Instructions and warranty and uh, extra. Oh, you, you do get a uh, you get an impact rated uh, Torx bit and you get a double sided Phillips and flathead bit. Next, you get this. So you will need your knife still. There we go. This is one battery. All right. So nope, nope. In this, you get the. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bits. Wow. You get eight attachments for the multi-job tool, which is awesome. All right, so next we get four amp hour battery, which this actually is not, uh, what's the battery life? Battery life is at half. So we are going to put that on charge ASAP. You'll get, wait a minute. Why would it give you this if it's not a hammer drill? Why, it, it's not, it, it says it's not a hammer drill. So why would it give you a handle? Which this thing's pretty hefty. It's all metal. The handle is actually extremely thick. It's a fiberglass with an extremely thick uh, rubber molding. Yeah, that this thing is actually this thing is actually extremely hefty. 
All right, so next you get the multi-job tool. Next you get the multi-job tool, which actually put a battery in. Zoom out a little bit. <coughs> All right, so this is sorry. This is new. I've never used a cobalt before, so I think you do that. There we go. Now it's in place. Oh, that doesn't seem that. Is there a variable? Is there a speed setting? That actually doesn't seem very powerful. Yeah, that doesn't seem very powerful at all. Battery is at half. Yeah, that's on, right? Yeah, so I, I'm not sure. But anyways, we are. We will test that out. See how powerful this is. We're gonna take a. Uh, just see what we can do with some, some wood and some nails. We get the we get the work light, which has uh, two uh, two hundred lumens, an adjustable head. It does not rotate three sixty degrees, just up and down, approximately approximately like about uh, hundred and forty five degrees. As the battery, this is extremely lightweight. It, I like, I like the grip area. It actually feels really good in my hand, and of course, it has a hook. Next is the two amp hour battery. Batteries at half. Uh, we are going to put these on charge immediately. Next is the charger. Of course, it has indicator lights to tell you what it is. It's also displayed on the front. Uh, this is. Doesn't say model number on it, but you are able to hang it up on the wall. So let's actually put these batteries on charge immediately. Alrighty, so th th those are gonna charge. The next thing you get is the the brushless 24 volt hacksaw, which it's not. It's actually not that heavy. It's not that heavy at all. Uh, but it, it, it is a little bit beefy in, in size comparison to the DeWalt. The DeWalt is actually, the Atomic is actually a little bit more compact when it comes to uh, the fatness of it. But the motor end is bigger than the, the Cobalt. So yes. Just size comparison and to compare it to... Compared to Hilti, that is the size difference. Uh, this Hilti is 12 volt brushless, which we might actually do a versus video on this soon. So yeah, it's roughly about the uh, almost the same size as the Hilti 12 volt. All right, so the Cobalt, 3,000 strokes per minute, and this is a low off. Uh, it has a low vibration rating on it. The stroke length for this is one inch. So yeah. All right, so that is the brushless reciprocating saw. Next is the quarter hex brushless 24 volt impact, which this has uh, up to 1800 inch pounds of torque and uh, uh, 2,700 RPMs, 1,800 inch-pounds of torque. Actually, that's not that bad at all. That's not bad. So this is a brushless motor, quarter inch, quarter inch hex. Now, does the collet have just a push-in? No, you actually have to adjust the collet to let it go in. Same thing with letting it out. See, so yeah, it's a nice feature to have if you're just able to push that in, but that's not the case for this. Uh, just like uh, others, other brands, you do have to pull the collet out. All right, so that is speed. 
how do you, oh, speed. All right, so you have to push the, you have a button here to push for screw on or off. And then you actually have a, a three setting speed for one, two, and three. Which that actually doesn't sound that fast. But it has 1,800 inch-pounds of torque, so that's actually not that bad at all. Brand new. That it does. This this actually does look cool. It does. This actually does look cool. So that's that. Wow, there's still more. All right, and here is the drill driver. <coughs> Here's the drill driver. Uh, this is a half inch uh, chuck, and the clutch has a 23 uh, points plus one. A two speed setting, I think it also has a variable trigger. Yeah, two speeds, that's one. That's two. Brushless, brushless motor as well. And let's switch this to drill. Very good. Now, I'm not gonna lie, these actually look pretty cool. These do. These do look, these do look cool. Now if you want to compare it to the Milwaukee brushless uh, non-virgin hammer drill, it's almost, it's almost, uh, almost the same. Almost. The, the, Cobalt's a little bit bigger, a little bit lighter. This one has more uh, of a more compact, dense uh, feel to it. This one feels a tad bit cheap, uh, cheaper than the Milwaukee does. And this one's an old drill. This is not the latest and greatest from Milwaukee. So, oh, but it's not bad though. It does have a metal metal chuck. does have a metal chuck and so the drill is 650 inch pounds of torque it's not bad I'm not gonna lie these actually look these actually look pretty cool they do they do and last but not least you don't need this anymore is the is the six and a half inch circular saw. Let's see what this sounds like. Oh, no, the, the, it does have a metal guard. Let's see what this sounds like. It has an almost immediate stop, almost. And so yes, yeah, so the circular saw, so take the battery out. We are safety on here, since I'm going to hold it like this, a battery comes out. Uh, so the max depth for this, six and a half inch circular saw with seven and a quarter inch blade, cut depth. All right, so this has a cut depth of seven and a quarter inch, and uh, RPMs is 4,500. Now, of course, just like I say, for every... But I say for everything, don't keep the cobalt blades. Get uh, Diablo or something else. The blades that these usually come with are terrible. So get a new blade. Because this is only a 24 tooth blade. You want more than that. You want way more than 24 teeth. Because this is going to be a rough cut. That's not the, the saw itself. That's the blade. So yeah. There you go. I do like the metal guard, the, the metal bottom guard. That's awesome. It's nice to have that metal. Now this kit is only $200 right now. So what I would pick up this kit if I were you, just because it's $200, because you can't beat what you get. Because this tool alone is 100 You know, for this specific kit, it comes with a four amp hour and two amp hour. I'd buy this as soon as possible. This is actually a great deal. This is, you, you can't beat this deal. No other company has a deal like this right now. None of them. Ryobi doesn't, DeWalt, Hilti, Tech Life, 
Milwaukee, none of them have a deal like this right now. This is $200. These are bit clips uh, that you could attach to your drill and your impact. Now, they do come with uh, separate screws for these. Perfect. Which here they are. That's one. That's the other. Now, the question I have... No, I don't think you can. It would be cool if, if, you, if uh, other companies made that, because that's actually cool and convenient to have your uh, uh, big clips on like that. I have a DeWalt one right here. And there you go. But very good. It also makes it, it does make your the bottom part of the of the the base of the tool look a little bit beefier. All right, so here is what the inside of the case looks like. Now it has some pretty hefty uh, walls in there for you to this is also customizable. You can change it the way you like. Uh, it's like a camera case. And so yeah, that's a, it's a, it's actually seriously a hefty material, and it's it's a flat out it's a, it's a good it's a good case. I like it. It has a pouch right here for a battery. So and it is on wheels. It is on wheels. So it's a, it's it's not a bad case at all. Two hundred dollars, guys. Two hundred dollars for all this. That's crazy. So unfortunately, the batteries are taking extremely long to charge. It's getting late. I can't do any tests right now. I was hoping to, especially this. I wanted to test this out really quick. Uh, but yes, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Major test videos are coming up with these and uh, versus videos against all the other brands. Uh, this, this kit's cool though. And one thing I wanted to say, this circular saw is I do not know what the what the term is called, but this is the exact opposite of what you're used to. So as you can see here, these two are the opposite. For me to hold this, I have to hold this like that. It's held like it's held like that, but the cobalt is actually held like this. So holding wise, this is better, but you don't, you can't see your cut. So I just wanted to point that out, that these are the exact opposite of the other brands. So I just wanted to point that out for you guys really quick. This is uh, New Year's soon. I'm having a huge video during uh, for New Year's Eve and a good video for uh, New Year's. So stay tuned for that. And these are going to be involved in that video. So like I said, I have uh, unboxing, video, uh, unboxing and test videos to do, and I can't wait to start doing the hardcore versus videos with the hardcore stress test against these tools. And so yeah, this, this actually, I'm not going to lie, this actually is a great deal when it comes to the price you pay for the amount of tools you get and for a brushless tool system. It's not bad at all. It is not bad at all. So that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.